Hi there, this is Solitude Ronan from Solitude Ronan Films and welcome to another video. I partook in the Nova Media Winter Sale, which I th think might be still ongoing. Um, now Nova Media, I have a few titles of theirs, but I haven't bought any for a while. Um, but I thought it was a 50% sale, so half price. I did go a little bit. Um, crazy. I kind of forgotten what I ordered and then um, when it came in I realised I'd actually ordered quite a few titles. Um, but again I don't tend to do it that often from Nova Media. Um, my Nova Media titles that I have got um, generally off of eBay and things like that. I have ordered a few <coughs> excuse me, from the Nova Media website. Again, they do kind of special releases um, for quite a lot of mainstream films, but most of um, these films are of the Asian variety. Um, I'm sure if you go over to a Touch of Films channel, um, he'll probably give you more information than I will about these releases. Um, but at 50% off... I just thought, what the heck, um, it's almost Christmas, why not um, partake? Because they do lovely work, but obviously they're not um, items you're going to buy every week. Um, so we'll start with um, Confession, which is a Korean film. Um, this is an all-region Um and they do limited runs. This is limited to a thousand. Um, and again, with Nova Media, you have the slip cover um, and some of the titles have um, art cards and then smaller art cards, almost like playing cards. Um, so you can top trumps with your Nova Media titles. So that's Confession from Korea. And then we have from um, Hong Kong, um, Swordsman or Swordman. Um, this has a bunch of directors including Sue Hark or Choi Hark and King Hu. And again with Nova Media you do get a little bit of embossing. Can you believe it? Um, and obviously that's almost like the background to Touch of Zen. Again, pretty much all of these are blind buys. There is an edition of a film I already have on Blu-ray, but I'll get to that. Um, and then we have a film um, by Edward Yang. This is The Terrorizers. Now, my only experience of Edward Yang um, is A Brighter Summer Day, which of course um, I thought was good. And that's sacrilege. Everybody loves and adores A Brighter Summer Day, um, apart from me. It's a good film, but we'll see what um, The Terrorizers is like. And then um, from... Hong Kong again. Out of the Dark. Now this does look like a Leon rip-off. This was um, a couple of years after Leon, I believe. Um, but this is slightly different, even though the images certainly look very similar. Um, but this has obviously a bit of a supernatural element to it as well. So that's Out of the Dark. Then we have another um, Korean film, and this is a, a lovely 
sleeve. This is bloody tie. Um, about a drug dealer that has to team up with a a loose cannon cop. We've all seen that before. Um, again, familiar faces, especially the guy on the right. And again, this is a release that has the art cards and then the kind of playing cards. So looking forward to that. And that's got a run of 700. It's not lenticular, but it is lovely and lovely and glossy. Um, and this is all region as well. Most of these are actually all region. Some of them are region A. Now this I didn't actually realise is a film from 2023, if you can imagine. It's the the wonderful Tony Leung in Hidden Blade. And this is an espionage film. Um, this is one of the region A's, as I just have to mention. But the legend that is Tony Leung. So looking forward to seeing that, even though it is from 2023. Um, but you can't go wrong with Tony Leung. Um, next, something a little bit different. Um, Hail the Judge. I believe this is early 90s. Um, this is all region as well. Again, as I said, Nova Media kind of do, you know, they've got John Wick editions and all that, but they also do lots of Asian stuff, which is really um, why I'm interested. Um, Tony Lung again, and the other actor who I cannot remember his name. Both of these actors were in um, John Woo's Red Cliff. This is Confession of Pain. Again, you can't go wrong with a bit of Tony Lung. And again, this has the art cards. No playing cards this time, just art cards. This is a run of 700 as well. Then we have again early 90s, I think. Fortune Star, we've got King of Beggars. Uh, this is a region A. It's almost the Peter Cushing finger there. It's not vertical enough. That's King of Beggars. And on to the second stack. Again, I can't... I get carried away. Um, this is Andy Lau in Dragon in Jail. Very young Andy Lau. Um, and this is all region. So looking forward to that and also shiny and embossed. Then again, I think this is early 90s or even 80s. Um, this is Green Snake. My Choi Hart. And Maggie Chung, I believe. Again, they always do um, beautiful covers. Um, this is Thai, Thai Horror, this is Shutter, and again this is a really nice um, glossy slip, and again this one has some art cards. region A. Again something a little bit different, this is Love on Delivery which looks like a comedy but you never know. Does that picture look like a comedy? I don't know. And 
again that's an all region as well um at 50 percent off what what could i have possibly done and um, this is the one that i've doubled up this is a region a um, I still don't understand why we don't have a region B this yet. Um, certainly in the UK. I know there's a rumour second site might have it this year because they have this director's other film. Um, this is a lenticular of Titan, which I liked a lot more than Raw uh, by Julia Ducour now. Um, and it's sort of a very nice um, lenticular and a very nice cover. And again, it has um, nice interior artwork and it has art cards as well. Again, 50% off. You can't go wrong and that is a nice lenticular. I mean, my favourite Nova Media release that I have is probably the Judge Dredd lenticular Blu-ray Steelbook, which is absolutely wonderful. Now, this is Remember which does look a lot like the Atom Agoyan film, Remember Christopher Plummer, but this has a slightly different plot, even though it is a young man helping an old man with Alzheimer's get revenge. Um, this is all region release as well. And this one has um, a booklet. And Nova Media are always very good um, because some of the, half the booklet will be in Korean and half the booklet's in English. Um, for those of us who are ignorant enough not to know Korean, that's the standard Blu-ray release. And again, this one has art cards and smaller cards. So looking forward to checking out Remember. Um, and the next one is La Maison de Himiko, or Himiko's House. Yeah, I think this is fairly recent as well. This is a Region A. This is from Japan. And you probably recognise both actors, but to my shame, I couldn't give you their names. Um, and again, this has art cards and the smaller playing card variety you know because I just felt my backlog wasn't big enough so I might as well get some Nova Media titles in as well um, back to Korea and Choi Min Sik and Happy End this has an absolutely beautiful slip cover not that I care about slip covers of course um, but the embossing and the sheen on it is quite quite wonderful beautiful artwork and nice artwork on the disc as well and then we have a double pack of the bride with the white hair films which I, I never picked up the Eureka edition and again that has nice embossing on it and um, this is let's actually see what region yeah these are all region as well um, so you have the first one um, by Ronnie Yu with Liza Chung and Bridget Lin and again art cards in that one and then imaginatively enough The Bride with the White Hair too. Um, same director, same stars and more art cards. So that's um, the um, small amount of titles I picked up in the Nova Media Winter Sale. Um, again, I don't know whether it's still on or not. Um, but Nova Media do a really good job of shipping as well. I mean, the bubble wrap that was involved was fairly substantial. Um, they all came from Korea in perfect condition. Um, and again, as I say, it's not something I do very often. I haven't actually bought a Nova Media title for a few years. 
Um, but at fifty percent off, I just went a little bit mad, seeing it was um, nearly Christmas, so I treated myself, which I apologise for. Um, it's only added a little bit to my backlog. I mean, I've seen Titan before, so that automatically isn't a, a backlog item. So I win something. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Please let me know which of these titles you've seen and enjoyed. Um, and hopefully you'll join me again in the new year for more random videos. This is Solitaire Ronan from Solitaire Ronan Films saying farewell.